In this video, I'm going to share my journey how I made a beer leasing motor from bike stator coil into a fully functional and running beer leasing motor. To start with the motor, the stator which we have chosen is a 12 pole stator. That means it is having 1, 2, 3, 4, up to that it is a 12th pole. And since we are going to design a 3 phase PLDC motor, in a 3 phase PLDC motor, we can only use 3 windings. That means coil uh, entire winding of 1, and that each single winding will be having 4, uh, four coils. So basically, it's like 1, then 2nd, then 3rd, then 4th. And I am going to show what will the motor winding diagram now. After seeing there's a motor diagram, we will first make sure that we have to uh, like wind the uh, wind the stator into similar winding. And after that, to make this motor and uh, build this motor, we'll be making it an out runner. Out runner means the runner which is having coils will be moving outside like this. Okay. This motor is a BLDC motor of uh, 12 stator poles and 14 magnet poles. These poles are also called as N poles and these stator ones are also called as the uh, like P poles. So basically it's 12 N and 14 P uh, poles BLDC motor. So uh, once we have uh, like, okay, so now comes the part that since you have to make a mount for the uh, for this stator coil as well so i 3d printed the mount for this and added a um, added a uh, this bearing as well and also for the stator uh, for the rotor i 3d printed the entire design and after 3d printing it i attached magnets the magnets which i am i am showing you the magnets oh, magnets are not coming up so this was a stator. I made sure that I am able to attach a small rod out here so that I can easily fit in it like this. Now I can hold this motor from these points and I can rotate it. Once the, uh, once the stator coils has been wind up and you have 3D printed, the rotor as well as dash the rotor and magnets now it is time to spin it up and do the connections so first of all pull this out now you are left with three six wires a two for each of the coils we are currently having three coils so what you have to do is you have to first connect three uh, wires together from coil a b and c so all the three wires you will connect it these are the common wires you don't need to connect it anywhere now these three wires which are apart coming from the uh, motor you are going to attach it to the electronic speed controller that is ESC. Currently I am having this ESC that is of 17 amps and 12 volts which we generally use for making drones and uh, similar projects. And to drive this motor I am going to use this PWM servo controller. I hope uh, I will attach the link to it as well. You need to do the connection, so I'm just doing it and you can see. Or we can also use uh, an art mode as well to control the uh, motor. So now, so now your motor is connected to the electronic speed controller and this is the wiring. So we don't need to connect these wires. You just need to connect all these these three for the these three, uh, three coils. And the electronic speed controller will be having PWM channels. These are the three wires. One of is broken. I'll solder it. And these are the power supply. Now you need to attach these wires into your electronic speed controller as well. And then boom, we just need to start testing it. Out. 